Hello friends, we back for another Hunter x Hunter reaction. So today we'll be checking out episode 22, A Dangerous Watchdog. Now in the last episode, um, we saw the fallout from the Hunter exam, uh, or so we thought. So basically, uh, it's revealed that Kilua went back home to Kukuru Mountain, was it? And our gang is uh, on their way there. So some minor details there, uh, Gon actually broke Illumi's arm, but Illumi didn't really uh, appear to be concerned about that. So, you know, since there's some powers going on in the show, it's not really something, it's not a big deal, basically, for people like them. Uh, maybe they have, like, regen abilities that can, you know, uh, work through it. So yeah, they're on their way um, to see Kiloa. Uh, that's basically the main gist of it. So, uh, without further ado, let's check out the episode. I can almost see it. So that's where the assassin's base is? Looks kind of creepy, doesn't it? It does. Once we arrive, we should gather information. Okay. Get ready, because we'll be making our way up to Kukuru Mountain. Home to the Zoldic family of assassins. Check it out. Way those guys are tourists. Yep. True. Very okay, shady everyone. looking. If you'll all look out the window to your right, you'll see Kukuru Mountain. Mother and father, five siblings, grandparents and great grandfather. Wow. All of whom are assassins. That's a big ass family. All right. Now hold on while we get a little closer to the mountain. No one who's entered has ever returned alive. Which has earned this gate the nickname the door to Hades. To enter, you have to go through the door by the Dude, security checkpoint. That gate looks a little too extra. Property, so this is as far as we can go. Right? Hold on! This is the front gate? But the mountain is all the way over there! That's right! The Zoldic family owns Kukuru Mountain. Wow! Inch of it. Not to mention a whole mountain? The land. So what you're telling me is this is their front yard? Oh this my god. Ride? Yes? What are we gonna have to do to get inside? Problem. We're gonna get a hundred million in reward money. Are you kidding me? Damn it! I should have taken a picture of Kilo. <laughs> For sure. They probably For sure. rely on the mistake to protect them. I bet the truth is a whole lot less interesting. Huh? Are you okay? Yes. I'll be all right. Oh darn! The master hates it when Mikay snacks between meals. Mikay? <laughs> Holy shit! Well, damn it! Mikay is only supposed to eat at designated times. Mikay! Don't blame those extra pounds on me! What was that thing? Dude, like a monster? I see. So, you're young Master Kilo's friends, are you? Happy to hear it. I've worked here for the past 20 years, and to the best of my recollection, you three are the first friends who've ever come to visit. Wow. Literally no friends. Now I, I mean, shouldn't be telling you this. We kind of got that idea from Illumi, right? This place is pretty lonely. No one ever really visits. Well, except those types. We get our fair share of those. <laughs> you saw it earlier, didn't you? How huge the beast's arm was. That arm belongs to Mike. It's the Zoldix watchdog. It only obeys the family wow. and attacks everyone else. So the watchdog is like a fact, monster. It's still following the order its master gave it ten years ago. To kill every single intruder who tries to get inside. I guess he isn't following it technically because he keeps eating them. <laughs> but like I was saying, I can't let you in. I wouldn't want friends of young Master Kilo being stripped out to their skeletons. I mean, yeah, I get it. Question. How is it that you are safe here? You can go inside. And if you were never allowed to go in, it's unlikely that you would be given a key. 
Interesting. But the fact is, you're only about half right. See, I don't need a key to get inside. This key was specially made for intruders only. There's a key for intruders? Huh. Almost all of them go right for the front gate. About 90%. I couldn't begin to tell you why, though. They just take the key from the poor, helpless security guard, and then Mikay eats them. It's a helpless security guard. A locked door. That's it. Then the big door is unlocked. As you just realized, I'm not a security guard. I'm just the janitor who cleans up after Mikay. So the front gate isn't actually locked after all. Exactly. What? Oh my God. I like this little twists here and there. Uh, it's minor, but it's it's good. It's a, there's a lot of value there. I pushed and pulled, but it won't budge. Are you sure the gate isn't locked? I'm afraid you're just not strong enough. Shut up! I was giving it everything I've got. This gate is officially known as the testing gate because anyone who's not strong enough to open it. <gasps> Dude, he is fucking jacked. The adventure in the Zoldic estate. <laughs> so you can see that the door closes automatically. So you'll want to slip inside as soon as it opens. Oh, and you won't need to worry about Mike. He has strict orders not to attack anyone who enters through the testing gate. All right. Ooh. The older I get, the tougher this seems to become. But they'll fire me if I can't open the gate, so I need to stay fit. Yeah, and I could I see that. Mention, the first doors weigh two tons each. What? You're really not supposed to be able to. Wait, what did you say? Did you say the first doors? Yeah. Take a look. And keep in mind that each set is twice as heavy as the set of doors before it. Twice? The more force you put into it, the more doors you open. Gotta be pretty strong to get through all of them. Incidentally, when young Master Kilua returned to the estate, he opened three of them, just like that. Three? That's like... 12 tons! It's 16 tons gone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I th hold up. I, I don't get it. Like, what's the point of opening all seven? If you can get inside opening just one, from what it looks like, right? They said Kilowa opened three. But what, what, is there anything significant about that? Or does the door just, you know, respond if it detects that you're strong? Something like that? I, I, I don't get it. it. It doesn't make sense to me, like, how that works. If you're strong enough to open the, the first one. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Starting to get it now? This is what it takes just to get through the door. They live in a completely different world. I don't like this. May I borrow the key? I didn't come all this way to be tested. I came so I could see my friend. Think of me as an intruder. So please, let me borrow the key. Have the key. I won't feed young Master Kilua's friends to Mike. I can't do it. Guess I don't have it in me. But would you wait here for a minute, please? Yes, I'm speaking with the Zoldic family's butler. All communication with the mansion has to go through the butler first. It's not easy to reach the family members directly. Mm, okay. Could you get him on the phone again? I'd like to talk to him this time. Well, I suppose I can. But I guarantee that you're not going to enjoy it. You've reached the butler's quarters. My name's Gone, and I'm one of Kilua's friends that came to visit. Is Kilua there? Can I speak to him? Master Kilua does not have friends. Oh. Uh, Interesting. Gone's gonna go wild. You've reached the butler's quarters. How could you possibly know yeah. <laughs> Put Kilua on the phone now! I believe you said your name is Gone. Yeah. Let us pretend that Master Kilua does have a friend named Gon. There is no proof that you are him. Put him on the phone. He'll recognize me. By your voice, that is no guarantee. 
Put him on the phone. Uh, He'll recognize me. That was a simple recording. Oh, I got there chills are many from other me. ways to mimic someone's voice. Or perhaps you are gone, but someone has coerced you to approach Master Kilua for some sinister motive. Oh. As long as that threat exists, I cannot let you meet with him. The Dude. Zoldic family are in the assassination business. They have their enemies, of course. And it is a butler's responsibility to guard them from those enemies. Apologies, you will have to leave. To make amends, I've decided to accompany you through the door. Hmm. Mike knows me well enough to recognize me, and it's possible he might not attack if he sees I'm with you. So I'm almost 100% certain that he'll just kill us all. I can't let you do that. I don't want to cause any trouble for you. Yeah. Too late. That's fair. Coming. There'd be trouble even if I stayed. If I sent young Master Kilua's friends to their deaths, I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. If you die, well... Then I'll die alongside you. Damn! This guy. This guy is so extra. I want you to see Mike with your own eyes. <laughs> this music, though. Have we heard this music before? Dude, that thing is scary. So, Go, do you understand? This is a hunting beast, a highly trained one at that. It's like no animal you've ever encountered in the wild. No, not by a long shot. You believed you could communicate with him until you looked in his eyes, right? As we speak, Mike is memorizing the appearances and sense of these new humans. There isn't anything else on his mind at the moment. He's just like a machine. So, Gon, do you think you could fight him? Uh -uh. I'd be too scared. I don't ever want to fight him. <laughs> He's an honest lad, too. Yeah. Very, well, uh, how long pure, we stay as here? they say. Until we see Kilua. And we're not leaving a second before. Nice. <laughs> All right then, follow me. Gon's definitely known for his uh, determination slash stubbornness. First the testing gate, and now Mike. Between the two of them, Gon has seen for himself that the Zoldic family truly live in a completely different world. However, Gon had made a promise to himself that no matter what difficulties lay on the path ahead of him, in the end, he would see Kilowa. All right, so that's the episode. Uh, very interesting. We got some stuff. Uh, not much. Not really much. So we finally got to the... Uh, basically, the household of the Zoldics. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And we meet like the, the security slash uh, janitor, as he called himself. And it appears they have this system where they, they, they made like this small door intended for people to, uh, for people who want to like invade, I guess, uh, for them to go inside. So the Mickey, the the monster, uh, just kills them, eats them. So I think it's kind of interesting. Instead of just you know having a sec a proper security guard uh, there just to stop them, they're like. Nah, just let the dog eat them. It's it's one of those. Some assassin shit. So yeah, um, they mentioned the testing gate. You need to be this strong to open the gate. I guess I wonder why didn't they just go uh, forward, uh, even though, you know, the guard already opened the gates for them. But I guess it's also a sign that, you know, whatever dangers there are ahead, uh, if they can't even open the gate by themselves, then they really have no chance of like surviving the environment something like that i guess that's basically the episode if you guys like the content uh like share and subscribe put some comments there if you want to like uh interact with me if you want to support your boy even more links to patreon down in the description and i'll see you guys on the next one cheers